oh, social distancing, the new normal, and staying away from each other, people are finding new ways to get creative. Turns out a little alone time can cause inspiration to bubble up. Deco's Alex Miranda caught up with a real life bubble boy. Hey, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lynn and Shereen, I think I am that bubble boy. This is the ultimate self-quarantine, I think, possible. I feel super alone in here, but the amazing duo of artistic people here in Fort Lauderdale who came up with this award-winning photo series say that it's actually not that easy to set up. Like, for example, let me show you something. The zipper back here that you get in with can only be unzipped from outside. So now that I think about it, how do I get out of here? George? Feel like you're living in a bubble? Photographer George Camper knows the feeling, and his pandemic-inspired work is blowing up. Everything I saw on the news was all about the bubble. Everybody was getting into a bubble or out of a bubble. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> we had a bubble in, in the closet that I had originally purchased for a fashion shoot, and we decided, well, let's it out and see what we can make with it. The result? The Corona Bubble, a series of photos that became a quarantine dream. So our first picture, you know, was very simple. Just me reaching for a beer on our dock. Turned out fun. People liked it. So I was like, okay, let's keep going. George shoots the photos by remote control. Wife Cheryl helps with the art direction and a leaf blower. Immediately, I have to zip down the zipper and leave about this much open for the leaf blower and start blowing air into it right away because otherwise it's... I'll die. He'll die. <laughs> Some photos have a serious tone. I was standing next to him with my pitchfork and my hose and he had a bouquet of sunflowers inside there with a very somber face. And some are just fun. I was scrubbing and George was scrubbing from inside and then he kind of dropped his drawers a little bit, which attracted a lot of people. They thought that was hilarious. So one of my favorites that took us to another level was the, the Banksy bubble. Even the police were interested. They saw the smoke and they thought we were, you know, looting or... And then when we told them what we were doing, they said, oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, just don't worry about it. While they're having a ball with the project, living in the bubble hit close to home. As much as we are sort of making fun of this, it's not a joke. And we, you know, we didn't let our kids near us for two months. And Bubble Boy has more work on the way. His nickname has become Bubble Boy. Clients call me up and say, hey, Bubble Boy, what's going on? <laughs> And you can learn more about this <laughs> really awesome photo series. It is a lot of fun at georgecamper.com. You can also learn about George and Cheryl at georgecamper.com. Now, because there's only about 15 good minutes, Lynn and Shereen, of oxygen in this baby here, I think I gotta sign off soon. But tell me, if you had to be stuck in a bubble with anyone, but not with your hubbies, who would it be? Oh, oh God. God, that's a really good question. Mm. Somebody who couldn't talk. <laughs> yeah. I would say my dog if I can't choose Perfect. my boyfriend. Yeah, right? maybe. Because yeah. you want to be the one who talks. It's and just cuddly dog. and right. stuck together. I don't like that, that there's no access on the inside of the zipper. What if somebody gets mad at you and sticks you in there and you can't get out? Yeah. I want a sharp object.